Eritrea's the final one to come along. Calm before the storm. They're racing. I've never seen a horse let down with a turn of foot like that. Imperatriz is going to come the widest. Gives you goosebumps. Terrific race at the 150. Imperatriz swept past all of them. I couldn't believe my eyes as to how fast she went past me, let alone Mick sitting up on her with 50 metres to go. What a win this. Imperatriz, a magnificent display. Wowee. It's actually won by two and a half lengths against the best sprinters in the land. Pretty scary. Well, a star might have been born. That was emphatic. Imperatriz, she's a classic case of horses for courses with Mooney Valley. She's two from two there now. Babylon Berlin has been grabbed by Imperatriz. And she probably didn't have the most ideal run in the William Reed when she won it. She was sort of working early three wide and she still managed to draw away on the line. And then she comes out second time around and blows them away. We just wanted her to settle out the back behind what was going to be a hot speed. Imperatriz and Giga Kickers last of all. Our whole plan was for her to hit the line and run a top three, top two race and know that we're on track for the Moya. Imperatriz and Giga Kicks getting going from the back of the field set alight. When Giga Kick went around us, Mick certainly saw the opportunity to get the slipstream of the best horse in the race. And if she could keep up with him, then we were on track. But we were more than on track, we were flying, so she went straight past him. Into the running terrific race at the 150. Imperatriz has swept past all of them. He said after the race, I just couldn't believe the response I got, and I had more in my hand, which is scary to think of that, of what she could produce next time around. 56.68, it's a class record, and it's a track record. A stormer from Imperatriz. It just seems to be a, a track where you can really slingshot off the corner, and that's exactly what she did the other day. Changes legs perfectly on the corner, and when a horse changes to that fresh leg, just gives them a withering turn of foot go and watch the replay of her bursting past Giga Kick. As soon as she gets to his outside, she changes to the right lead and that just gives her that huge, powerful finish that she let down with. Very good horses know that to get off their, their weaker leg at an important time and get onto the right leg is going to give them a better finish. It's very easy when you've got a, a fantastic track rider. Laura's ridden all over the world. So she's got an incredible knowledge of good horses. Let's go. And an incredible knack to get along with them. And that's sometimes a huge factor in having a horse happy and healthy is a good rider on their back that gets along with them. Just has that great attitude. That's what all good horses have. They just apply themselves when they need to apply themselves. You don't have the good ones pulling and, and carrying on out the track and half wanting to whip around. The good ones just do their job. I don't think she's got anything else to prove. She's already got the numbers on the board. She's a multiple Group 1 winner and she's just enjoying her racing. But as long as she stays sound and happy, what's the point of taking her away for something that she wants to do? She loves it. She's pretty on par at the moment for second up. Her coat's starting to come out, she's starting to dapple up. All those little signs that you want to see in a horse this time of year are starting to come to the fore. And I think when she gets to the mounting yard at Mooney Valley next start, she'll look even better than she did first up. I think we're in for hopefully our biggest prep yet. Hopefully win A group one or three group ones.